Welcome back to Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews. Today, we're going big budget. I'm bringing you guys the Discovery HD 4x24x50 first focal plane rifle scope. Now, I picked this one up on airgunartreefund.ca. You'll see the link in the description below. I picked it up for 350 US. Now, that's a pretty sweet deal if it is all that it claims to be. So we got high density glass, we got high magnification, and the lifetime warranty to back it. Now, as far as what do you get with the scope? Well, you get the obvious. You get the scope. This one does come with rings, which is nice. Don't forget to select um, either high or low rings or dovetail or picatinny. I, for one, chose the high rings, which in hindsight, which is 2020, I should have chose the low rings. It does come with a sunshade, which is great for blocking glare uh, and impressioning your most impressionable friends at the range. Big plus. Does come with a little coaster, very neat. Uh, a little chamois cloth, great at wiping your lenses. Come on. An instruction manual, which we will do exactly what every man on the planet has ever done. And some scope caps. So that's what you get. Let's have a look at the scope up close. Now, once we're back from the range, we're going to be evaluating the scope on the following criteria. We're going to be looking at the glass quality. Does it survive recoil? Is it accurate? We're going to check, does the focus parallax wheel numbers match the distance you're shooting? We're going to check out the turrets. Does it have good tracking? Can it survive a box test? Is there sufficient eye relief? We're going to look at the reticle and lastly, the warranty. Now let's get shooting. So we're at the 50 range. I knew what you guys are thinking. It must always be winter up here, but I assure you there are more than one season, which is snow. Uh, yeah. Hopefully summer will return. In the meantime, let's hit some bullseyes. What can I say, guys? This thing is pretty darn accurate. So that's just about one minute of angle, maybe a bit less, something like that. Now this thing is a tank, it's a beast. And it's big and beautiful. So let's get so let's get some shots on paper. I gotta say, the glass clarity in this thing is pretty damn good. Like I'm impressed. Pretty good group. It's one of my better groups today. And we're back from the range. Now this rifle scope, it did really well. Let's start the review off with the glass. So um, keep in mind, this is filmed with my GoPro Hero 5 and uh, this is about as good as a video I could get from it. Now the glass quality is actually much better in person. Uh, keep in mind, the glass is fully multi-green coated. All right, this is 24 magnification. Let's bring it to 16. And 10. And 
floor. Pretty nice. So for glass, it's gonna get a five out of five. Now keep in mind, we are comparing it to its price point and not, let's say, a thousand dollar rifle scope glass. It just wouldn't make any sense and it isn't necessarily comparable. Now, as far as recoil is concerned, it did really well. All it has to do is not die, so it's gonna get five out of five. Keep in mind, this is rated for a 338, so don't be nervous when you put it on your large calibers, it'll do just fine. Uh, as far as accuracy is concerned, it's accurate. That's it. Five out of five. Regarding the focus and parallax wheel, uh, the wheel is a little stiff, but you know what? I far prefer it being a little stiff compared to a little loose. Another thing you do have to watch for is the number is not necessarily corresponding to the distance you're shooting. Lucky for us, it is not the case. However, it is hair off, so for that reason, it's only going to get a four out of five. And now for the turrets, we're going to do a box test and we're going to do some tracking. All right, so this is 10 magnification. We're gonna do up one full rotation. We're gonna go right one full rotation. We're gonna go down one full rotation. And we're gonna go left one full rotation. And we should be back at zero. Check that out in the zoom. Now the image is actually a lot clearer than it looks. It's just what I can do with the camera. It's a pretty nice, pretty clear image. So as far as the turrets are concerned, they track quite predictably and they return to zero. Now my only complaint would be that this scope offers a modest amount of adjustment, that being 25 mils, or in the Imperial system, 40 MOA. That's a rather modest amount for such a beefy scope. So if you are doing some really long range shooting, you are going to want a 20 MOA rail on your rifle to go with this scope. However, for the majority of us, it's not really a concern. So for that reason, we're going to give it a four out of five. Eye relief. So this scope offers a good three and a half to four inches of eye relief. So you don't have to be worried about ending up like a pirate if you're shooting some heavy calibers. As far as the reticle is concerned, have a look. It's pretty good. I have no complaints on this, five out of five. And lastly, the warranty. So Discovery offers a lifetime warranty on their scopes, but there's more to it than that. An important point is how long the company's been in business for. So Discovery Optics been in business since 2009, which isn't a tremendous amount of time, but it's long enough for their warranty to actually mean something. And as far as airgunarcherifund.ca is concerned, they'll handle the warranty work for you. So you have an issue, you ship it back to them. And keep in mind, they'll cover anything that's um, manufactured defects, but they won't cover it if you drove over it with your truck. So that's on your to not do list. Now, lastly, do I recommend this scope? You know what? Yes, I do. This scope is built like a tank. It has a lot of features that you just don't see for 350 US or to 400. Now, although it doesn't have a ton of elevation and wind adjustments, it is built solid. It has very clear glass, it's got lots of magnification. It's a great scope to get into long range shooting. And that's my review on the Discovery 4x24x50 HD. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and we're out. Mm -hmm.